Hello, today I'm going to be showing you how to fix uh, Forza Horizon 5 for Thrustmaster T80 Ferrari wheels. Uh, basically, I've had this wheel, I played with it on Forza Horizon 4, and it didn't work for Forza, uh, Forza Horizon 5. It is an easy fix. Uh, first thing you need to do is you need to make sure that you download uh, your th drivers for the Thrustmaster wheels. So I'll drop the link in the description below, but you can see right here. We've got the page. Uh, this is our wheel. It's a PlayStation wheel, which is why uh, you need to do this. Uh, you download these drivers, install them. You'll also need a program called Xbox 360 CE. Uh, so you'll want to download this, install it, and configure it. I've got it going already. Um, you can see it right here. I've got it configured. You can see that my wheel is detected and moving, uh, working properly. Uh, but here's the bug that we're going to be fixing. So once you're in the game, uh, you can see that if you look under in the bottom left under the mini map, you can see that my game is actually switching between inputs. So when I try to play with my wheel, there's about a half second delay uh, as the game is uh, confused switching between keyboard and wheel. So um, it's a really simple fix. The first thing you need to do is you need to open up your control panel. Uh, and once you're in your control panel, you can find that from your start window. You can search for it you'll want to open and click on devices and printers. Uh, so it will show all the devices you have connected to your PC. You're going to want to look for HID compliant controller and hit properties. Once you hit properties, this window will come up. You'll want to select hardware. And in here, you'll see two things. You'll see your wheel, Thrustmaster T80 USB, and HID compliant game controller. Uh, You'll want to select HID compliant game controller, hit properties once again, and another window will pop up. You hit change settings. The window will reopen. You'll want to go to the top and click driver. And then disable device. This will disable HID compliant devices. You'll want to enable it once again and hit OK. Don't close these windows yet, but once that's done, you should be able to go back into Forza. And you can see once I turn the wheel, you can see the wheel turning on the game. And when I let go of the wheel, it doesn't switch back to keyboard. So that gives you uh, the ability then to have the control uh, to program your wheel as an Xbox 360 controller and play the game. So again, those steps are, you want to go into your control panel once you uh, installed and configured both your drivers and uh, Xbox 360. You want to go into your control panel. You'll want to find your HID compatible uh, controller. You'll want to disable it and re-enable it. Thanks for watching. Uh, please subscribe if you found this helpful and have fun playing Forza.